How's it going, everyone? Uh, it's gonna be kind of awkward talk for the first time. I'm just gonna get right into it. We're playing Civilization V. I just pressed play the game. Of the gods be upon you, oh great King Alexander. You are the ruler of the mighty Greek nation. Your people lived for so many years in isolated city-states, legendary cities such as Athens, Sparta, Thebes, where they gave the world many great things, such as democracy, I already see a ruin. tragedy, art, and architecture, the very foundations of Western civilization. Although few in number and often hostile to each other, in the 5th century BC, they were able to defeat their much larger neighbor, Persia, on land and sea. Alexander. Your people stand ready to march to war, to spread the great Greek culture to millions, and to bring you everlasting glory. Are you ready to accept your destiny, King Alexander? Will you lead your people to triumph and greatness? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? I'm sure we can, but like I said, just before I pressed uh, this button for this intro, uh, I set up the map, it's Earth map, I have a uh, random leader selected, so I didn't know I was going to be Alexander the Great, I'm happy that it turned out to be Ex Alexander the Great, I love his civilization, um, I've been, uh, I'm quickly just uh, changing the title on Twitch, I'm just going to talk over this real quick, I'm uh, a huge fan of uh, Quill18, he's actually a great, great inspiration on my YouTube career, uh, I've been watching his videos for so long, and yeah, I know he's a Canadian guy, but I have to give a shout out to him, Quill18 is a great YouTuber, he, he knows how to do it correct, uh, I'm just changing the title of this broadcast right now, Civ5, Alexander, random, Single player. We're playing Civ Five. Broadcast done. Check done. All right. Like I said, we're doing Alexander the Great. All right. City state influence. So okay, and we're most likely going to be going to war with someone pretty quick. So we have Earth map, we have a coast right here. We can safely go on that coast and still pick up th these three starting resources. This is a good I'm just gonna turn off all those pop-ups. Um, I'm gonna go directly for that map, yeah, explore the area a little bit. That's a good start, good start. Already have Die and Silk right up there. I am gonna move him. Doesn't really look like it's gonna do anything but I'm not gonna waste that first turn start I have to get a turn going I mean a city planted first turn uh, let's see what are we gonna do with the city so we're not gonna have really too much going on for the first I want to say about 25 turns so do we go I really like getting the scout always go first scout and by that time we might find someone else or uh, pop a couple of these little goody huts or ruins to see what's going on in those, see if we get the, the culture because if we get two of those and they're both culture that's uh, already tradition and then two more we can get that uh, first line down in tradition Because first goal in Civ 5, when you're playing at a higher difficulty, on Emperor we are playing. Here's all the settings real quick. So Alexander, Earth, Standard, Emperor, Standard Speed. So we move to him. We're going to choose production. I'm going to go ahead and get that scout. And we don't Excuse need you. Thank you, Mr. Science Advisor. Go fuck yourself. Hmm... <sighs> You know, I thought this would be a really passionate thing that I would want to always do. Which is stream video games. And don't get me wrong, I love it. I can't say that I have ever done anything better. But actually, let me see. So, Excuse me. 
So we have, we need camps and plantations. I'm going to go ahead and go for those plantations. So we're going to rush for calendar. Right now we're going to go ahead and pottery straight into calendar. Maybe kick up a short little religion thing. Maybe get that Stonehenge up and running. Depending on production. We don't really have too much for production. We have two hammers right now. That's not bad. I mean... We'll get those camps, get this hooked up later into a higher production counter for us. Some sheep, nothing too interesting. So I'm actually going to go south just because I have the majority of this area cleared out. Might as well go look what's to my south. I don't have any mods currently installed on this game. I feel like the base game of Civ is just really amazing. I've uh, I've played Civilization as far back as uh, three, Civilization three, and I personally love the feel of what uh, the studio that created this game. Slipping my mind totally right now. Paradox, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, or Fire Axes or some shit. Debating on what I want to do next, so, um. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and kickstart that fucking culture production. We found another goodie hut just here to the south. And it's a 20 culture right on fucking cue. See, I love it when shit works out. Got 30 gold from Wellington. I am really, really fucking tired of that. Let me just check these fucking... Perfect. Because I wasn't about to fucking have to deal with that for the next couple of hours. Oh, I just realized there's a hut right there. We're going to go scoop that with our scout. We found Wellington. Should have probably drop that policy. But yeah, we're going to just go ahead and get three more culture right in our capital. Two more red in uh, eight turns. We're going to beat up all that barbarian camp for a little bit. <clears throat> uh, still haven't really found a great spot for the next city. Shall the clay say to him that yeah, 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 yeah. Take it easy there, fucking. Oh yeah, that's gonna have to be quick combat. I can handle a quick move, but quick combat is something that I just want. So I was debating on, uh, so let's see, one, two, three, we will have that silk, two dyes, sheep, fur, and adjacent to a mountain. We can go right here so we get the river bonus later. I'm about to be able to hook up. But yeah, this is going to be definitely a good spot for us. This is going to be a powerhouse when we get all these furs hooked up, two sources. And silk. Yeah, that this city will work silk. This city will have the mountain and everything else. Unless we find something a little bit better over here or around the edges. He who Discovered writing. Kills reason itself. Runes explored. Awesome. We got writing for free. That's... Real nice, that means we get treaties, I assume, right? Writing is uh, embassies and great library plus library. Awesome. So we probably might, might rush a great library work. I don't really, really see it happening.
But you never know. And that's still not quick combat. Alright, so we're at... We're basically... This is North America, I think. So we're like... This is the Great Lakes. This shouldn't actually be out like this. But this is probably New York. This is Florida. And this probably goes into Mexico and South America. And this is Canada. This is Canada. As far as what I can tell from the current geography. We are playing on an Earth map. I wanted to play on an Earth map. So I'd have at least some knowledge of how the map would look like. We'll just leave that camp alone for now with the scout. Someone discovered a pantheon. Does Valentine have any quests? I'll pledge to protect. Two dies so far, nothing really else going on. We can easily outrun this bar. If he doesn't even attack us, even better. Policy, we're gonna jump straight. Well. Or Alexander the Great. We're gonna need patronage for Alexander the Great. I was debating on adopting, I was reading the uh, half shrine, half temple cost. But I don't really care. I usually go oligarchy straight into legalism, straight into landed elite. For this 10% growth plus 2% two, two to capital. Food. Uh, I usually don't really care for this. Just, you know, no, ga no garrison maintenance is always a couple extra bucks saved. And we got our sh uh, monument. Be able to do production. Another ruin and a fucking barbarian hut. God damn it. Uh, it's time to get those workers up and running. By the time that worker uh, gets out, so, uh, town's already going to be size 3. Uh, let's go up here. Found copper. That's lovely. So far, so good. I wonder if that barbarian's going to come after me, of course. I'm fully here. We're going to keep bounding on that camp. We need to get the fuck out of here. River crossing into ice. Always fun. As long as he's chasing me, he can't actually kill me. Yeah, so we're basically done exploring the north. We're going to come back down and try to uh, search the California coast. I guess this mountain range is like the Rockies or some shit. Twenty five gold, lovely. He's gonna have to cross a river. If he does, he doesn't. Sure. Got a calendar, perfect. So that means we're one step closer to hooking up these wine production of Athens. Research wonder what we can go for next. So we got a little barbarian problem, not the biggest. They're here and there. I am not going to leave this though, so I'm going to go down and go right here for that hut. What do we do for our next research? I wonder if getting this going a little sooner. So we can go mining into archery. Nah. I want to go animal husbandry into trapping into bronze working. We'll get our tree later. La, la, la. Fuck, I didn't attack that barbarian. There's more barbarians. Twenty faith. Uh, I think it's twenty-five to unlock 